Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at a design breakdown of the piece I created for the return of the Premier League back in, I think it was September. Um, just going to go through all the layers and how I've created this piece just to sort of educate and hopefully inspire some of your work. Yeah, let's go. Right, so here is the piece. It is a, like I mentioned before, it's a piece for the, the return of the Premier League back in, I think it was September, because it was obviously delayed a bit. Um, yeah, it's just including all the players from the whole Premier League. Um, I just wanted to have sort of a celebratory, um, just post to put on my Instagram, Twitter, all social medias. Because um, obviously it's a it's an exciting time to have a Premier League back and yeah. So if you zoom in a bit on it, um, you'll see that it's it's very detailed. The players' faces are all sort of HD, HDR. Um, yeah, especially the Zaha one and the Grealish. They're all because obviously all of the different renders, they're all different qualities. We're all they're all working with different size of the files. Obviously, I've tried to find the best ones. Um, yeah, so let's just go through the whole layers. So start with the background. This is a background I created myself. It is made out of several layers of vectors. So. Just laying it out, sort of. I don't know really know what they. How would you describe it? It's just sort of like a fire, sort of brushy type of thing. Um, and then obviously just put them all together. And it looks like this. It looks a bit boring like this. So I thought, mm, just spice it up a bit. Put it into a website called Moshed, as you'll see here. Um, it's pr it's really pretty cool. So you can add in your image and it'll just mash it up, basically I'll mosh it up. I think it looks pretty cool but obviously these this isn't the sort of colours I was going for so I added a gradient map to it. So this gradient map is just a sort of, I'd say it's like an orangey, orangey purple sort of thing but I use the, the, the templates within the gradients a lot so I think this, this one, yeah that's that one. Um, and gradient maps are different to just normal gradients. You can find the gradient maps here. And um, yeah, I think you don't need to put a blending mode on it. Just leave it like that and it just, see how it's changed dr dramatically, really. Um, and then that, that really just um, propelled the, the whole style of the, um, the piece. And then just adding on some effects, so some like dirt and, I don't know, what, mesh. It's just some sort of texture to add to it, because obviously if you look at it like this, it just looks like a vector. And I didn't really want this sort of style, I wanted it to be a bit more real. I would think it would be the right word. Um, yeah, just adding in some sort of clouds, and you'll see why I'm adding in the clouds in a minute. So this is the sort of backdrop to it and you're just working in layers so I'll go right to the back. So we've got the cloud here, I should name that really, cloud. And then the Lana, and then we'll add in Pope, some more clouds, so it's, it's just depth of field so it's like you're creating sort of an environment and then putting things in front of other things and you'll see how it um, all builds up towards the end. Some more clouds, so we're always adding clouds in front of players. <clears throat> Mitrovic, Diangana, and then some more clouds. So the all these renders, I didn't cut them out. These are all from Footy Renders, and I would definitely recommend Footy Renders. It's a really good website. I get most of my renders from there because cutting out is just, I 
hate it. So, yeah. But when you've got to do it, you do it. So, if we have a look at the players, they have... Take away the clouds for a second. Have a look at the players, they do have different sort of textures and like lights around them and sort of stuff like that. So I think we should just go into one and um, have a look at how I've built it up inside the smart object. So we'll look at Pope. Right, so Pope. It's got a camera raw filter on it. And basically I just played with all the the um, sliders until I was happy with it and I just I quite like this sort of style of a lot very saturated so obviously vibrance is up clarity because I wanted it to be very HDR and then just up in the shadows and just playing around until I was happy with it really and then I used this smart filter for all of the other renders so you'll see this I just copy copy the smart filter over to the other renders as well. So levels just to brighten it up a bit, really. Um, it was a bit too dark. I, I probably could have done it within the raw filter, but I think every um, every render has a different sort of tone to it. So just I think it was just easier to do it within this. And then changing the saturation, I think I upped it a bit there. Curves, just brighten it up a bit more. And then, oh, this one's the teeth, so. On every player, I did brighten the teeth a bit. So I think it's a, it's literally just white. Yeah, just white, just a white brush. Simple white brush. Um, I just use a soft brush. That's massive. Soft brush, just paint it on. Like that, not like that, a bit more precise. And then overlay, I think it was on 25%, because obviously that's a bit too much it looks like for me now. <laughs> 25, boom. And shadows. So if you see by here, these are the shadows I've created myself, but it looks, I'd like to think it looks quite realistic. I don't really like uh, dramatic shadows on images that just, it just looks quite forced sometimes. So. This is just basic what black brush, soft. If we just up it all the way. Yeah, you see it there. So it's all just painted on like this. And you can you can kind of tell where to put the shadows by the light lighting on their face and on the shirt, but if you're not too sure, I think it's just easy because obviously under the arms you're gonna get a shadow by here and then underneath the shorts. So put that on. Twenty-five. I don't put any blending modes on that. And this is the sort of outer glow. I don't use outer glow as in here, outer glow. I prefer to do it myself because I feel like once you've got it on here, it'll go all the way around and it won't look, it won't look quite right because you're going to have different sort of, you can have more, say in this area, more in, more in the hair, more in, so I don't have any in this bit because that's where the shadows are. Um, so it's basically every um, player has got their own sort of outer glow and their own sort of colour. So this one, I've just took it from here. Let's just use the eyedropper there, boom, and just just paint it on like that. Um, and I use a linear dodge. A linear dodge appears more on darker shades than lighter shades so see like here you don't really see it too much here but you'll see it in the darker bits here and on the shirt and then I think oh I totally forgot how, what the opacity was but I think it was 89 yeah looks about right yeah so that's basically the whole process for every single render so you'll see every single player so obviously when I refer it into renders it's a cutout of a player and yeah so I had to do all this for every single player, and there's a there's a lot of players. <laughs> twenty. There's twenty players. Yeah, so you'll see it on each one. So you see the shadow on here that I've created on Mitrovic. 
here on Grealish with the little glow here because it, it would just look weird if Grealish had a bit of glow around here and here and obviously we won't see these bottom bits anyway we won't see much of this because we've got more layers to add on turn that cloud on so that's the back layer this is the next one so we build it up so we've got Phillips there rice more clouds, Danny Ings, who scored against Liverpool, thank you, Wilson, some more clouds, and I'll show you the, the brush in a minute once we, um, once we finish looking through this, some more, yeah, this is my favourite one, the Zaha one, it's, it's just pretty cool, isn't it, yeah, and we can see it's starting to build up now, so we'll go through the next bits, Lunch drum, so we'll go through Hamas, Rodriguez, some more clouds, Gray, Lunch drum, more clouds, Harry Kane, more clouds, and the front, this is when it's getting serious. <clears throat> Bamiyang, clouds, Rashford, oh, no arm. Um, that is because Henderson is in front of him and I didn't want his arm up here. More clouds. So it's a lot of depth. There's a lot of layers to this. It needs a lot of... Um, it just needs a lot of layers to it, I think. It just looks... It looks better. There's more to look at. I think when there's more to look at, it just looks looks nicer. Henderson at the front, obviously, with a Premier League trophy. And uh, there we go. More clouds. And in the text now. So obviously I didn't cut off Henderson. It looks a bit weird if... See, I've faded out everyone else, but Henderson, because we have the text in front of it, there's no need. So we've got the text here, which I created from a template, but I've rasterized it to make the file a lot smaller, but it's not that much smaller. Um, this is just one of those mock-up templates where you just double-click on the smart object, type in your own text, and it just appears as what you want. Oh, here we go. Can't find it now. Yeah, but it's one of these. It is pretty cool when you when you start using these um, these files. There's so much potential to them, and then obviously adding in some brightness, curves, color, and then another gradient map on top, just to just to suit the style around it, because we can't have a completely different style of text to the um, background. And then adding some lens flares, which is, I think, is a really nice add-on to things. It's just a, I just get these off Google. They're, um, so when you use a screen of, for black, it just basically disappears and the brightness comes through. So see here, it just adds a little bit of, just more depth. So everything is about depth on this. Yeah, so we got that. This is... It wasn't actually slanted like this. This was just straight and boring, which I thought, obviously, it was a, for me, it's a bit boring. So I decided to slant it a bit. So hold Command T, and then you're holding Shift and Command. I think it's Command. Yeah, actually, Command. Shift and Command. It um, levers it up and down, the Y. See the Y going up here. And then I'm matching it matching both words and then the next bit is just adding some color correction to the whole image instead of individually we're adding to the whole image just to make sure everything looks the same across the board so we're adding in curves color balance which makes a big difference color balance i've just really learned how to use this properly and it's it's a game changer really color balance selective color gradient map again i really love gradient maps and a color look and then we're almost there really. This is literally just the finishing touches to it. So this is a new thing I've been doing recently. Um, you can see the huge difference here actually. So you can copy the whole thing. So Command A and then Command Shift C. You copy the whole image and then Command Shift V, paste the whole image. So this is what I have here. 
and then we've gone into Topaz, which is huge. I love Topaz, it's incredible. And Topaz Clarity. So I just use a filter in Topaz Clarity and just really bringing out the HDRs and you see the, the huge difference here between, it just really brings out the dark colors, I think. And it just makes things look a lot more dramatic, but this is a bit too dramatic. So I put it down, I think it was on about 70. I'm not sure. Yeah, looks about right. I think 100% is just too much sometimes. And then just adding in some, some more of the effects, just a bit more dirt and just making it look streamlined across the whole thing. And that's pretty much it. Um, obviously there's, there is a lot of layers and there's a lot of hard work going into each individual football player. So each individual render. Um, but ultimately I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Just a fun piece to do. Um, Cause I just, I just love playing in Photoshop and just learning new things. And I think this is the way you do it. Just, just, just play around with it and hopefully you find something new and you can play around with that and play around with more things and improve daily. So then obviously I add in my watermarks, but I'm sure someone will steal it and put it on Pinterest or Redbubble. Let me know what you think guys. I'd, I'd really like to um, have some feedback on this and see what you, what you think you could, um, what you would change about it. Cause obviously everyone's style is completely different. Every, everyone does things completely different. And I'd love to know what sort of things you change about this whole composition and just hopefully this has taught you some some of my my photoshop tricks or i wouldn't call them tricks just how i use photoshop because there's so many ways to do the same thing in photoshop and um yeah the only way you're gonna improve is to just use it so yeah thank you for watching guys i'll um i'll put the link in the description to the instagram post of this i think and the Twitter one because Twitter will be much higher quality. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like if you like this video. Let me know if you like this sort of video as well, just me talking through my process and the files that I, um, that I create. Um, hopefully this helps you in some sort of way. Thank you.